And those are the kind of plays they expect him to make. High snap to Peter Moore. Does a great job corralling it to get the punt off. And I tell you what, you want to see what Virginia Tech special teams in a nutshell? High snap, corral, out at the one Time yard line, field. and a beautiful punt of 48. Game like this is going to be all about field position, right? To see who's going to blink first. Well, Virginia Tech is playing to their strengths. Play clock down to five. Wells to throw, looks outside, it's tipped and caught. Caleb Smith, right place, right time, and a gain of 17. Second and 10 for Grant Wells and the Hokies. Plenty of time for Wells, gonna take a shot deep, has a receiver, caught! Touchdown, Hokies! Caleb Smith, 28 yards. And the Hokies grab the lead. It's just a great, great story. He's a former walk-on, comes from an athletic family. You see here, Wesley McCormick just starts staring at the wide receiver, uh, staring back into the backfield at the quarterback, loses leverage on Caleb Smith, doesn't play a top down. He allows him to get behind him, can't find the football. And that's C.J. Donaldson off the left side. And he just gets yards and bunches. Gain of 14. But you may have another one-on-one -on -one situation for Bryce Ford Wheaton. And Tony Mathis drops the ball. Tried to get to the second level. It was shifty. Mathis fumbles. Strong recovers. Turn over the, on the field was a fumble. Recovered by the defense. First down. After Virginia Tech touchdown, Jalen Stroman. And the Hokies offense comes up huge, forces the turnover. Wells time, good Ooh. shot to the sideline, and that is a big time throw to Christian Moss. Hokies with the lead. That's Keyshawn King, and again, nothing going off tackle. Leads. Graham Harrell very happy with how his offense executes. Third and seven, West Virginia. Daniel started seven of seven. He's now two of eight cents. And you talked about the running game, and you talked about Johnson. Big game, first down, West Virginia. Daniels to the end zone, has a receiver. Touchdown, West Virginia. What a strike to Sam James, 24 yards, and just before the half, Mountaineers answer. And there's Sam James just over the top, 24-yard touchdown. Yeah, watch Sam James. He's number three in this trip set over here. At the bottom of your screen, you're going to see the safeties bail out. You see how he is just one-on-one -on -one with Dax Holyfield. That's a mismatch that if you're Graham Harrell, you're going, look, I'll take that all day long. You're, you're trying to prevent the outside players from going deep on you, playing too high. West Virginia now five first downs by penalty. Moves the ball to the 30. That's C.J. Donaldson, good cutback. Boy, is this freshman good. Here goes Donaldson. Cuts back for 18, eventually brought down by Connor. Longest run overall by the quarterback. Grant Wells, out of the backfield, it's King. He's got a block. Here goes King, has space. And another big gain out of their home run threat. Lewis, you said it, get him the ball by any means possible. Steven Goss now key block at a gain of 20. Let's take a look at that play a second ago by Keyshawn King. You said the block by Goss now could have been called a hold, but either way, they're getting yes. King the ball and finding a way. Yeah, exactly. So Will Ross on for a 44-yard attempt. First year playing college football. First game was against ODU and Ross's kick right down the middle. Here comes Tempo, West Virginia. They snap it quickly. Again, it's Johnson. Nice stutter step. Johnson has space. What a patient run by Justin Johnson. Big gain for the Mountaineers. Gain of 25. Sixth first down by way of penalty for the Mountaineers. Can Daniels take advantage? Pocket collapses. Daniels goes down. 
That's Mr. Lunch Pail, Taiwan Darbin. And right now, they're starting to impose their will again in the run game. Can West Virginia take advantage of short yardage to go? Johnson says, yes, we can. Touchdown, Mountaineers. Six yards for Johnson. And West Virginia finally able to punch it in. I mean, you just see the blocking at the point of attack. Telling them, hey, we're still in this game. Keep making tackles. Keep making plays. A turnover, a stop. We'll see what happens. JT Daniels has other ideas. Reese Smith wide open in the middle of the field. And that's how you get a drive started if you're West Virginia. Tamari Connor brings him down. Gain of three. I mean, you see Reese. You see him just get right in behind. Intercepted. Here goes West Virginia. Pick six Mountaineers. That's the true freshman Jacoby Spells. And that just might keep that black diamond trophy. I mean, this true freshman, he had a couple of big but plays you see Spells here down at the bottom of the screen. Just run the play here. We'll see what they run. They're, they're just sitting in a three deep zone, basically. And he just breaks on the slant. He just breaks on basically the three step and just drives hard on it. You see how they match this pattern perfectly. They tried to run a little wheel route up the sideline. The flat defender took that one. Spell sees the slant. He says, I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to read the quarterback's eyes. I'm going to break on the football with good vision, and then I'm going to finish. I'm going to turn into a running back and finish. That's how you draw it up. Now, if you're Jordan Leslie, the defensive corner. Play for here in this rivalry. 54th meeting, C.J. Donaldson off the left side. West Virginia's largest win at Lane Stadium, 12 points in 1988. The running back rotation the dominated. Is under review. Potential targeting. That's what we need with 531. Yeah, I, I think I think they're looking at it on at Jalen Stroman, number 26, have taken a step. Right there, you see Stroman coming in. Oh, it's the crown oh, of the helmet. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's that's gonna be easy. That's what I saw live. Let's bring in Matt Austin. He's still hanging out with us just because I want to hear Matt Austin's voice. This one uh, should be pretty simple, eh, Austin? This one checks all the boxes. He lowers his head. He attacks with force. There's an upward thrust. It, it's got everything. He's going he's gonna to be done for the night. After review, is determined personal foul targeting number 26 defense. 15 yard penalty added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Credit number 26. The officials for that when a flag wasn't thrown on the field in play. The targeting was with the crown of the helmet. The record in this series in the battle for the Black Diamond Trophy. Now West Virginia 30, 23 and 1. And we don't know what the future holds for this rivalry. It's the last one scheduled between the two schools. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.